My name is Vincent van Amava. I'm the Cheetah Metropopulation Coordinator for the Endangered Wildlife Trust and I basically manage wild cheetah populations in 61 fence reserves across southern Africa. And in the process we've reintroduced uh, uh, wild cheetahs onto 47 uh, privately owned game reserves in South Africa, 13 state owned reserves and basically created an area the size of Kruger Park for cheetah conservation. And for that reason South Africa today is the only country worldwide with a growing wild cheetah population and that's to, thanks to the contributions of reserves like Biffle Strift um, who've made this possible. So part of the process, uh, reintroduction process, um, is that your, your reintroduced predators absolutely have to be collared. I mean we in an agricultural landscape here in Oetzeren, we're completely surrounded by ostrich farmers. If that cheetah gets out after you've reintroduced it, you're going to run into a lot of trouble. So the collars, the, the cheetah have to be collared at all times. So early this morning, uh, Ari and Marane went out at 5 a.m. To, to find out exactly where the female cheetah was. Uh, Ari is the coordinator of the entire collaring event. He's the champion. He bears all the stress of the, the collaring attempt on his shoulders. Okay, today is a big day for us. Um, what we're doing now, we are trying to get a general location of our cheetah um, because this is a 3,000 hectare reserve, so she can be anywhere in this reserve. So we're just getting a general direction with the VHF device. Um, so we get a slight idea where she's walking because um, later this morning we will take off with the chopper and so that we can know in which direction we can uh, fly in. So it just helps us to make the operation a bit um, quicker and easier for us to locate the cheetah then. Uh, so this morning we had uh, a helicopter pilot, Quibus Kraus, and a veterinarian, local veterinarian, Dr. Glenn Carlisle, come and join us here at Biffle Strift. And uh, Quibus Kraus has to hover his uh, R44 helicopter close enough to the, to the cheetah to, to get a dart in and the darting responsibility sits with Dr. Glenn Carlisle, the, the wildlife veterinarian. It's a very sensitive operation today. Um, we're going to immobilize um, the cheetah. We're going to give her an anesthetic. We have to do it from a helicopter because we, she's a wild cheetah. She's going to be moving um, a lot of adrenaline pumping and we're going to have to try and stabilize her, get her as close to the road as possible. And then we'll get the collar replaced and wake her up as soon as possible, safety being the priority. Because Biffle's Drift is, is quite thick bush, right, uh, quite thick succulent karoo vegetation, we really struggle to find the cheetah. So we saw the helicopter hovering about, but it, it, they just they knew this, the, the cheetah was close. But what we find with a lot of the cheetahs that we dart in environments like this is they simply go down. They, they huddle up and they hide behind bushes and they try and put the bush between them and the helicopter. So at approximately 7.20 a.m. we lost communications with the helicopter. And we know from previous experience darting wild cheetahs that if you chase a wild cheetah for longer than seven minutes in a helicopter, it will overheat. It will die of hypothermia. Yeah, we are a bit worried now um, because we can't chase the cheetah too long with the, with the helicopter because it um, puts a lot of stress on, on the cheetah as well. So we're trying to avoid it. So as you can see, they're struggling on this time. Um, but yeah, the vegetation is quite dense. It's very difficult to spot it. So yeah, we just hope for the best now.
kas fari un kaut kas? Ko jau arī? Sēlopī Hrundbu? Jā, jā, es esmu paļā, vāģerā. O, es esmu pat, es esmu ikas so... Man nīt aiz fan vomēlē A4 pat dampti. Jā, es esmu pat in āve, un es esmu pat kaut ko. Rāju, es esmu daudz. So, so a cheetah capture is a stressful affair. There's a lot of risk involved and you want to really be working with the best chopper pilots and veterinarians. And uh, this morning we saw that chopper hovering above um, the capture area for about, probably about 20 minutes. And only afterwards did we hear that the dart was successfully in and that it was a case of they simply couldn't find her. The bush was very thick and they were hovering above that bush but the actual chase was not longer than three minutes. So the vet was quite effective, the helicopter pilot was effective at getting the vet close to the cheetah and those darts went in quite, quite efficiently. The entire operation is, is uh, dependent on a number of different role players coming in and playing their part and making th sure that things proceed smoothly and uh, that's exactly what happened this morning. A day like today is definitely not possible, irrespective of how successful you are, without sponsors. We would like to say thanks a million to all the sponsors that have contributed towards this project. And for anybody out there that's still interested, please visit our website. You're more than welcome to make a contribution towards this project of ours.